Hey WinTech Warriors! Today we're going to demonstrate how to password protect a window within your Easy Builder Pro application. In the Home tab, select System Parameters, then navigate to the Security tab. Here, you can create users and assign them class-based permissions. I've created two users, Cloud and Barrett and given them Class A and Class A and B permissions, respectively. It's important to note that if the Enable box isn't checked for the user, their account won't be active, and they will not be able to log in. These class-based permissions will determine what objects a user can access when objects within your project have been assigned class-based user restrictions. I've created a demo project to showcase these class-based user restrictions in action. On the top left, we have a system tag that will display the user's name who is currently logged in. On the top right, there's a function key that summons a pop-up window that will allow users to log in and out. On the bottom left, we have a pair of function keys that will allow users to navigate to two different windows within this project. The so function key on the left does not have class-based user restrictions enabled, so anyone can access it. And the function key on the right does. Class-based user restrictions can be configured within the Security tab in the User Restrictions section. In the Object Class drop-down list, you can choose a class and only users with the appropriate class permissions will be able to interact with the object. You also have the option to make the object invisible or display a warning message if a user without the proper permissions interacts with it. There's also an option to disable the object's protection after a user with the proper permissions logs in. This means that even users without the proper permissions will be able to interact with the object afterward. I'll choose Class B and make the function key invisible while protected. Let's run a simulation to see our class-based permissions in action. No one is logged in at the moment, and you can see the function key that will take us to the secret protected window is nowhere to be found. Now, let's log in as Cloud, who only has Class A permissions. The protected object is still not visible because Cloud lacks Class B object permissions. However, the unprotected function key is still accessible. Let's log in as Barrett, who has been given Class B user permissions. As soon as Barrett logs in, the Class B protected function key becomes visible, and we're able to view the secret protected window. Thanks for watching this quick tip from WinTech USA support. Check out our forum at forum.wintechusa.com for more info on our software and products.